Hello there, this is Sword with Audiosmith, and today we're taking a look at the EPZ Star in One. This IM was purchased by myself for review purposes. All thoughts and opinions will be my own, of course. And as always, audio is extremely subjective, and my thoughts might not be the same as your thoughts. The EPZ Star in One is retailed at about $90, and for whatever reason, they chose to be fairly limited with the accessories on their package, and they have cheaper ones like the G10, which I just unboxed, and the uh, Q5, which are cheaper, around $50, and they're much more full unboxing experiences, where this is just one set of tips, the cloth bag, the cable, and IEMs, which felt a little bit disappointing seeing as it is a bit more expensive in price. Uh, that being said, the cable is actually quite nice. The cable that I got at the time, there wasn't options for, but there are now. I got actually a 2 meter cable. This is long. This is a long cable. It's nice though. It wraps up. It doesn't actually really have any memory. Fit is good. My wife and me both have no issues with the fit. Solid there. They have beautiful face plates. The build is, seems fairly solid, they're nice, uh, they're, the really only thing that is a letdown is just the lack of extras, especially when I'm so used to the abundance of them. This is a single dynamic driver set and it's very harmonish in tuning with a little bit of a bass bump. It seems to do fairly well for everything, it's a pretty good all-rounder. The bass is good with quite a bit of detail at this price point. There is definitely quite a good note weight here going on as well. I quite like that, especially with the detail that it is able to throw. And for a single dynamic driver, there is a little bit of congestion issues on these I notice sometimes, but it's only on a few tracks and only for certain segments. Overall, I think it does a pretty stellar job in the bass region. As for the mids on the Star in One, I find them to be quite genre dependent. If I'm listening to modern metal, they do come across quite warm and full, but if I'm listening to classic metal, they'll sound a bit thin and it, at times a little overly thin for what I'm expecting but there's definitely a nice shift and it plays well across a variety of genres and leans into their strengths I find. Um, as for the upper mids they can be a little bit shouty at times forcing guitars and trumpets and stuff kind of in your face not to an extreme amount or overly so for my taste but it's definitely something that's noticeable. As for vocals I find the vocals very nice on this set they're a little bit on the shouty side they're a little bit Bit more forwards than everything else and I don't think it's done too much. It's definitely noticeable but overall the vocal sound and timbre I think is actually quite nice on these. Definitely great for a more vocal oriented listen. As for the treble on the Star in One, I find it a little bit close to my level of sibilance. Um, cymbals can be a little bit splashy sounding. Violins can come across a little bit piercing at times. Overall I think the treble is kind of the weak point of the Star in One. It is there, it's nice and strong, it's present, but it's a little bit too much at times. As for the technicalities, the Starn one doesn't really do anything special or above its price range. I think it is okay at this price. The soundstage is fine, it's not closed in, it doesn't sound grand, it's, it's alright. Imaging is okay. Uh, clarity it's, is fairly resolving, not incredibly so for the clarity. Overall, it's okay. There are the issues with the lower mids and some congestion, which isn't that frequent, but it is there. As for gaming, gaming was okay with the Star in One. It wasn't anything spectacular or special. It, I found the treble kind of unevenness to be a little bit not great, especially for FPS gaming. There was a bit of issues with audio cues and stuff, and immersive gaming was not the greatest experience. But if you get the two meter cable version, this is a nice two meter cable that you can use on this set, you can use on other sets. It's great for the desktop. For FPS gaming, Escape from Tarkov was okay. The Imaging was better than I expected, soundstage was alright, not really anything wrong there, um, but the treble led to what I noticed a lot of missed audio cues that were pretty apparent, especially on other sets that I went back and listened to the clips on. Overall, just I don't think it leads that well into FPS gaming. As for immersive gaming, Elden Ring felt good and was fairly immersive with decent note weight and oomph behind the attacks. Boss battle music sounded good and blended well during the fights. The world did sound good just walking around. And walking around it 
did feel immersive, but there was a sharpness that I'm used to in the higher ends that was just missing. And it didn't ruin the experience for me, but it did distract me a little bit from the immersion. But I think that's mainly just because it felt different than other synths. As for comparison, if I was to compare this to the Dunu Kima Classic, I would say that overall, it does great except for the treble. The Dunu Kima Classic definitely handles the treble region a bit better and I think is a bit more balanced in that regard and make it makes it more of a complete full sound because of it. But if I was still to just only pick one, I'd probably pick the Star in One just because I enjoy the bass quality and the mids more on it than I do the Dunu Kima. That being said, if we throw in the accessory package as well, I might lean towards the Kima Classic, just because it's a more full and complete accessory package. In conclusion, if you're looking for a good bass set with nice vocals, I think the Star in One is a good set to go with. Overall, I, I do recommend this. I think you should pick it up if it goes on sale or there's a, a deal on it though, just because the treble is just a little unrefined for my taste, and I think a lot of people will also notice that and the accessory package is a little bit lacking. But if you like that bass, you really like vocals to go with it, I, I think this is a good set for that. Thank you for watching this review. If you'd like to leave any comments or questions regarding the Star in One, feel free to two down in the comments below. And have a good day. Peace.